Hello, my name is Matt, and welcome to a Redstone video, sort of. Um, first of all, I'm, uh, we're both sorry um, that there hasn't been a video for like five days now, something like that. That's the biggest break we've planned, we didn't really plan on taking. Um, the main reason for that is that John was away, as you know, that's why we had videos going back and forth between us both. But after he got back, he had the flu, then he had conjunctivitis, and now he's got some other illness that I can't pronounce. Um, he's going to be fine. But because of that, we've not been able to record, and I've been revising as well. Well, we've both been revising as well. I've got exams next week. After Wednesday next week, the hardest exams for me will be over with, so that means I can focus more on this, which is good, and I'm happy about that. So first of all, apologies for that, and um, I'm thinking of showing this to you because it's a bit of, bit of a cool idea, design I've thought of using hoppers. It's pretty basic, really, but basically, if you've not been able to tell already, um, we are planning another Predator map, um, with Seto as well, um, but this one is mainly just, well, it's going to have a lot of, it's going to be a lot better than the last one, I'm going to put it that way. We've got a few more ideas we want to incorporate into this one, and yeah, I'll, I'll show some more stuff after this, but basically, um, everyone, ev well, anyone who's played Predator or watched the videos on it will know that, that when you get picked of the Predator, you get put in a room for 30 seconds, that's this room at the moment, and um, you get given a piece of gunpowder, three potions, and there's a brewing stand. And then you get your other tools and stuff later on. I didn't really like that system. That was probably my least favourite part, because I hated having to cook the potions. There was no way around it then, but of course with hoppers, there are ways around it now. Because all your items were given to you via dispensers, but we can't put splash potions in dispensers, because of course they'll just shoot them at you. So that, wouldn't be the that wasn't very good. So... Yeah, that's why we had. To, that's why you had to cook it yourself, basically. And then I didn't like of how you got half your items then, and then the rest of your items later on. I preferred it to all just be at once. So this is as close as it can get. So you're the predator. Here are your items. There'll be a chest full of stuff in them. Um, they'll they will be in there, but this this button I've set up here will do it. The button won't be there in game. It'll be all automated. But we'll press it now. You may hear minecart rolling around. When it comes back, hopefully it'll work. There are there are there is the odd occasion where it misses an item, but there we go. It's worked. Um, I've got, you get two swords. Um, it's because the minecart's going a little bit too slow there. But I've tried speeding up to only get one, but then you start missing out other items. So two swords, it's not too bad. You have two fists. So yeah, the good thing about this is that the, we can. Well, we could have done it with the other items in the first. Well, no, we couldn't because command blocks were used to give you the items. Whereas this time they're all stored in chests. Oh, uh, you may have noticed that you're missing ender pearls and stake. They are given to you via command blocks because. 16 ender pearls and five pieces of steak is just too many chests pretty much to set up so they'll be given to you via command blocks the rest of them are given to you like this so you've got your gravity defiant boots uh, we've got the feather falling the only bit i don't like about that is where it says enchantment dot level dot one two seven rather than having just 127 but there's no way of fixing that and then significantly significantly reduces falling damage just some extra text the all extra text basically then potion of blindness um, your enemies cannot hunt when they cannot see. You know, just corny bits of line, basically. Potion of the Wither and Potion of Damage. Now, I prefer, I like these names because that was Potion of Decay and that one was Potion of Harming, whereas now it actually tells you what they are, pretty much. It's it's more clear to the player. And also, when you have them in your inventory, it tells you what they are now above you. So that that's brilliant for this map, really. Then you've got your Fist of Fury, yeah, you're power, you are the Predator, and then you've got some Magic Apples, which are high in saturated fats because, you know, we have to have a reference in there somewhere. So those are all your items. We'll get a bit more there. And also as well, you, since you see them in a chest in front of you, you know what you're getting. Whereas when they're all um, spat out of you onto the floor in front of you in the original Predator map, you stood over them. You've got a ton of items. I got a bit confused because I'm stupid as to what items you had. So this is a much better way of doing it. And then, of course, command box will teleport you across. Basically, the way it works is, as you can see, that's how it'll be automated. And the button was on the other side of this block. Powers this minecart. Um, well, with the chest in it, of course. That goes underneath all of these um, hoppers. Comes back along. Sits on this hopper, which feeds into another hopper. Oh, I need to fix that. Feeds into another hopper, which feeds into that chest. Now, the reason for that is just because... Having the chest there would have been awkward, right? Let me just quickly fix that because I won't be able to concentrate because I'll be staring at that because I've been annoyed. There we go. There's that. And then the minecart with the chest. The most underused item in the game until this update. There we go. 
and then let's just yeah it goes off on its trip underneath a load of hoppers collects all of its stuff you may notice that it goes into the golden apple twice i originally had two chests with a golden apple in one here and one here and i thought hang on a sec it crosses this bit twice why not why not just have it there so yeah and then it goes into there goes into there goes into all that okay it's picked those up by accident but as you can see it's worked oh, it's only got one sword this time i suppose that's a bit random but like i said i can't fix that might try again in the future but this is the redstone you can see how much smaller it is much more compact those are the 10 places where the players get their items and yeah there's, it's so much more compact it worked a lot faster because all the redstone is really close like say these two bits here if a player dies they go into this one well they go into this here first which teleports them into that which teleports them into the kill box which is that one then if the predator dies it, he goes into here of course they both wire up to count as a death now the problem we had the first time was the predator box was all the way on the opposite side and i realized hang on a sec if he's the first person to die he has to be fed into this as well the buffer has to count a kill pretty much but since he is the predator he'll, he'll still end the game the reason it has to count as a kill is because you may notice that okay this trips these so they go up and down to allow the signal to go along one however it also goes along here what this is, this is actually an RS null, like sort of in disguise. I've sort of used like an instant wire trick here, where if I if I power this, it powers this instantly and retracts that. You know, it's just a little quirk. There's not really much point to it. It's just I think it looks cool. Um, basically, if the predator dies first, the game will end, but it has to count on here because it has to reset this RS null. Like previously, I mean we fixed it in the original one, but previously what happened was if the predator died first, this RS null latch wouldn't reset, so you couldn't play the game again. So it was kind of a big thing that. So they're both positioned there now, super, super close to this, so there's no need to have like four repeaters here like we did last time. Then the end game is this bit here. Of course, if the Predator wins, it's this one, so it says, no, the Predator dies, so the survivors win. And then if the buffer does reach the end, he's killed all the players, which goes along here, so the Predator has won. And then that... All that does there is that lifts up this one. This counts as player one. This counts as two players, three players, four players. Of course, these are all linked up to the levers, but this one isn't because there's always going to be one player because it's the Predator. So that's why that one's there. Basically the exact same design, but I've compacted the buffer now. It's a lot thinner, a lot smaller. Um, like here, this had like five pieces of redstone before going to this. It just, it just wasn't needed. So I've, den I've made it more densely packed in and yeah that's the map above us that's another change um it was this all this entire system was at the side of the map so we had to have like a big piece of um a big wall um stopping that but we the reason we didn't change that is because all the commands in the command blocks had coordinates and it, it would have meant we'd have had to change every single command to do that i mean i actually i'd actually went back and did that and moved the original spawn underneath it and built this next to it um but i found a filter to do that which was a little bit more easy made it a bit more easy but we didn't we didn't know that existed the first time. But this time um, I'm using Sethling's other filter for that, which is lets me um, just name signs like hashtag pred one. Um, the sign pred one is in here. Uh, that says pred one on it. I don't want to go in there just in case it trips the redstone, so I'll leave that. And then you know pred two is that one. Pred three is there. Pred four is there. That's the spawn point. So that's got the sign start room. So when you first start the game, it teleports every everyone to that point. Like even if the it, like if they're in the credits room, which you can probably just put over there instead, or if there's an if the admins in this section. And also another thing with this spawn is it was built with this in mind. In the first map, the start button the start button used to be here, which was which was the which is now the credits button, but that has to be near the levers. So of course, we move the button there and then just snake to the redstone round to the side so that's what that's basically the reason why the redstone was so cluttered in the first map we've moved things around we hadn't really planned it um, i hadn't planned it because i didn't expect all this to even be in the predator map to begin with but now that we have the first map done we know what the redstone is so we know where to put it which is basically what we've done here everything that's why everything's so more compact and everything's built to be as it is this is supposed to be split into two rooms so this will teleport everyone to there i'm going to go back to my main point so that's a start room on it. So I think it's this one, is it? Oh no, person, say, closest person's name has started the game. 
then teleports everyone to the start room. Dollar sign, start room, which is right here. Then that one says the game will begin in five seconds, then four, three, that's when it'll set the predator's room to fill up, so it'll be done by the time the predator gets there. Three, two, one, and then a load of game rules. Teleports everyone to the waiting room, which is that one. Then game rule command block output false, just in case. Um, every spot sets everyone's spawn point to the kill box, which is that box. In fact, hang on a sec. Oh no, everyone's spawn point to the kill box. That's actually wrong. That needs to be um, player death one. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Basically, if they die, they need to spawn in there to register a kill, and then they'll get teleported to the kill box anyway. Bam, bam, bam. So. Cause it here and I'll see you next week.